What I'm about to show you is a mixture of the, <clears throat> for a short throw projector. If you have a short throw projector and uh, you want a dark black paint, uh, this is one you might want to try. Uh, I'll show the mixture with you. Uh, you know, it works excellent. I'm telling you. You can have the light on, turn it off, on and off. Uh, it'll stay the same. Um, I have another mixture that works for a long throw projector, but that consists a little bit more. It's a little bit more complicated on the mixture. So later on when it's done, I'll, uh, I'll share it with you. Uh, this one right now, I'm just going to demonstrate for you what it does. And, uh, it's compared to my back screen, but let me see. Watch the lights are on right now. Let me hold on. Give me a sec. Let me get more brighter, more light. There we go. Okay. As you can tell, the lights are all on right now. So if you have a short throw projector, look what it could do for your short throw projector. It's a black paint. And I'll share the mixture with you. you Got to get a little bit to the side because uh, it's uh, a little bit too bright. And this is actually a black paint for a short throw projector. If you have a short throw projector, I recommend give it a try. This mixture works excellent. You can go real dark on the paint, almost black. Uh, you just need to tweak it up a bit. It depends uh, how dark you want it. In some scenes it might be a little bit dark, but as you could tell, the the pearl mix, it was a mix with the uh, with the pearl mix, the base. So I'll share the mixture um, with you to give it a try. I mean, it won't hurt you to give it a try. It might help somebody out. Let me uh, go turn off the light completely so you see that it's it'll keep working the same. You don't lose no colors. Let me get on this side, guys. I got too much glare coming into my phone from the back. So you can tell the black comes out real good. You get dark picture. The blacks are black, and the whites are actually white for being a black paint. But this works for a short throw projector. I'm letting you know. Uh, because the farther you get away with this mixture, the the darker the picture is going to be for your projector. These are the long throw projectors have a little bit more problems producing a little bit more of a, a brighter picture. But the little short throw projectors, if you have a short throw, I've tried them. I got different projectors I've tried out. They work excellent with this black paint. So. I hope this helps out somebody. As you can tell, look at the colors you get. And as you can tell, you know it makes the blacks a little bit richer. The colors stand out a little bit more, the shadows. So give it a try and let me know what it if it works out for you. And like I said again one more time, this is for a short throw projector. Um, I used two of them already on the short throw and they work excellent. They have to be at least 2,500 lumens up for it to work real good with it. I've tried a 2,000, it's all right, but it's a little bit dim. But when I changed that to 25, it worked real good. Especially if you have a high luminance projector, it's ridiculous. It's 
it, it reflects real good the the light. So give it a try and see what you think. And I hope it helped somebody out. Well, I started mixing some of this paint. The main ingredient in mixing that paint for the short throw, you start with the basic, which is this Valspar brush, pearl, and you can get that at Lowe's. I kind of add a little bit of those metal flakes. They'll have them selling them right next to this paint right here. I add a little bit of white satin, like three tablespoons. Then uh, it was like a quarter, like a quarter. I used like a quarter of the Valspar. And I added, I kept adding and adding flat black on that mixture. This is another mixture right here I'm working on for a lighter gray for another friend. But I used uh, I, to get that flat almost like a black paint close for a short throw I uh, used more of the black I kept going more black and more black so you just work with it and tweak it so you get the right mixture for you the way you like the picture but that mixture it comes out almost uh, you get a black screen also but it works good for a short throw uh, the other one that's uh, you could be real far away I'm trying to tweak it up a little bit. It uses a different mixture, different kind of paints, and I'll share it later on. But uh, this one right here, it's um, it'll it's for a short throw, and it'll work real good. But I recommend experimenting with it. So if you want to give it a try, you're more than welcome to give it a try. You know what I mean? I'm sharing this mixture with you. So um, I hope it helps out somebody to get them started. And that other mixture that I'm making that's all of a solid black uh, mixture, I just got to tweak it up a little bit because the thing is, when I use 3D on it, it does come out a little bit too dark on some scenes. So I'm working on it right now, and it'll take me a while before I get it right, and I'll share the mixture. But if you have a short throw, try this mixture out. It works excellent. As you can see the video, I showed it to you. When you turn off the light and turn it on, it doesn't change at all, so... Give it a try. It might work for you. But I recommend using at least a 2800 lumens. Uh, Epson are real good, you know, with their lumens. What they say was what they're going to give you. Um, so I recommend them. Uh, like the 5410 is real good. It's kind of cheap projector. Also, if you want to try out, I've tried out the Dells. Like the 4909X and the 40, uh, 1410X also. Uh, they're cheap projectors, and uh, I use a Psyche Capel to upscale them. And they're real bright. Uh, uh, they'll work real good with these uh, mixtures, too. We're using the the satins and uh, what's the name? Uh, the Pearl Mix. The Pearl Mix, I'm telling you, it'll help you out a lot um, to do start the basics in your mixtures to uh, get you going, you know. If you want to do it on your own, so you're more than welcome to give it a try. And, uh, my screen's about to be finished. It's a 300 inch. I finally put the LEDs on there. Uh, right now, my uh, projector is not still on the ceiling yet, so I'm not getting the whole picture. This is just testing it out. Um, the lights are on right now. This new mixture I did, it's a little bit darker than the lighter gray than I had. Um, what's the name? Uh, I tried my dark mixture on it. What was happening was. Uh, the 3D was coming out a little bit too dark, so I got to work on it and tweak it up a bit. So right now I have a, like a darker gray, dark gray, and as you can tell, it the colors come out real good. And uh, it's going; it's a work in progress. So I'll be done with it after uh, I say a week or so. I want to perfect it and tweak it up because I I got some Atmos going on. I gotta install some speakers more so I'll finish it up completely and I'll put a post a video of it when it's completely done so to show you what that you can do your own screen at home you know I use she rock and put the LEDs in the back compared to going to waste thousands of dollars uh, on these expensive screens which I'm not dissing you know but if you want to if you have the money try it out you know you buy it you know I'm not I'm not dissing you but you know what I, I'm here to uh, just to help out people and I'm giving my, my stuff a try you know what I mean 
And uh, I shared some of my screen paints and I'll share the black mixture I got for the long throws. Uh, but it's like I'm telling you, it'll take a while because I'm still tweaking it up, making it a little bit. Uh, working on some of the mixture of the chemicals I used, uh, paints. Um, on the mixture because the thing is, like I said, the 3D is coming out a little bit, little bit too dark on some of the scenes. So I didn't like that. And um, but I'll share it with you when I'm completely done. But this other black mixture I shared with you, it's a uh, it's a good mixture. And like I said, uh, it'll help out. I hope it helps out somebody to get them started. You know, um, it's for a short throw. It's a black screen paint. Um, you know, I've been experimenting in so far. It looks pretty good, and it works real good in the sunlight, sunlight hitting it directly. So give it a try, guys. Let me know how it works for you. And uh, if it does, you know, more power to you and keep working on it and keep uh, sharing if you can. Um, I'm not here to sell anything. I'm just here to help out whoever wants to be helped out, you know, And because uh, um, I like doing this, and this is uh, a hobby of mine, so... I do uh, theater rooms for friends and family, and and uh, I practice on screen paints, um, on screens, and I, I do it all, you know. But uh, give it a try, guys. See what you think. Let me know. Bye.